Why do watch collectors, watch YouTubers and celebrities like Nico Leonard, hate Hublot? Let's get into it. So today I went to Hublot, trying to take a video and listen to this. They didn't allow me to take videos of the watches. Weird. So that's reason number one why people don't like Hublot. They have the watches in the like tens of twenty, thirty thousand dollar range and up, and the customer service is subpar. Reason number two is what you're getting for the money. This is the Hublot Classic Fusion. They come in anywhere from like seven to ten thousand dollars. But the problem with these watches is you're not getting an in-house movement. Other brands in this price point, like Rolex and Omega, you're getting in-house movements with history. In-house movements with Hublot start at like 20 grand. Now, point number three, why people don't like Hublot, is the finishing you're getting for the money. Classic example is to compare it to a Royal Oak, and specifically the screws here. Look at these screws around this bezel. They're all aligned. Looks really clean, nicely done. But for like $22,000, look at this. How are you not aligning the screws? There are other points of the finishing that are bad, but this is a good example. What do you think? Let me know.